All right, well, I got it to float like halfway, so I'm only half disappointed. We. <laughs>
And we got bandit. Ears are really hard to pull out. I usually have to start from the bottom. Chili. And then here's where things are gonna get a little bit complicated because we have more of these darn rubber bands. I mean, like seriously, how many of these do they need? Like, they are really worried about people stealing their stuff. It isn't a bad thing, but trying to get these things out is a pain in the rear, I tell ya. I already snapped the plastic, but I'm gonna recycle it anyways. Oh, let's see if we can tangle her out of here. Tried to bite me there, but here is Bingo. And here it is. This is everything that comes in this so-called set or four pack. We have Bluey, her sister Bingo, and her parents Bandit and Chili. And I have to say, this is one of my favorite sets. It's very basic, but it basically comes with everything you need to start. Just the family and the main characters. Here is Bluey. Overall, it's not that bad. The arms are kind of stiff, a little bit rough, but it's not that bad. She has like paws. Interestingly, they actually all have paw pads, which is something they don't actually have in the show. So that's an interesting detail. Overall, I know like sometimes the lining of the darker colors and the spots can be a little bit off because of the way they stamp them. On this one, it's not that straight, and as you can see, the color kind of bleeds. But it's not as bad as the other ones I've seen. It's got this big line, which is kind of bothering me, but it's not that bad. And yes, I know I'm showing you her butt, but if you look really closely, it says copyright Ludo Studio. Stamped it right on her butt, of course. I don't know why. Very convenient. And on this part where hole is, is copyright Moose, which is the toy maker, and Vietnam where it's manufactured. <laughs> and with that said, I'll also mention that this one actually looks quite like the character because I know sometimes it's hard to get correct. It's weird because the Bluey characters have really simple designs, but when they're made into toys, it really doesn't come out perfectly. Overall, I feel that this is a good one because for the most part, it actually looks like Bluey. They got all the different colors. The only detail they're really missing is the light blue lining around the yellow part of her muzzle. I'm not sure why they didn't include that, but I suppose it's a really small detail and it would have been too much. But it would have been cool if they included that. Up next, we'll take a look at Bluey's sister, Bingo. And honestly, I don't have too much to say. Very similar story. The lining here is a bit off overall. Bingo has a relatively simple color scheme, so they were basically able to replicate that perfectly. However, if there's one inaccuracy I have to notice is that Bingo's coloring is a bit off. Like, I'm not sure why they made the darker part this weird like brown color, because it's more of like an orange. But other than that, this is a pretty good representation of Bingo, and it's pretty well done. Next, we have Bluey's dad, which is of course Bandit. Not too much to say. Overall, very similar to Bluey as he's also missing the lining around his muzzle. However, to make up for that, they do have the detail of the gray hairs being in his dark hair areas, and they even have ones going around his mouth like in the actual show. So I have to admit that's a pretty nice detail overall. This one is pretty good. And definitely one of my favorites. I'm not being biased, I swear. And last but not least, we have Chili or Bluey's mom. And overall, I don't have much to say other than the spots are a nice detail. And I originally thought they skipped out on the tail, but Upon closer inspection, they actually put some on there as well, so extra points for that. Coming up next, we have the Bluey and Friends 4-pack, which I believe is the 4-pack that came out after the original Bluey and Family set. This one includes Snickers, Coco, Bluey, and Honey. Of course, I already have tons of Blueys because she's basically in every set. 
And I do already have Snickers and Coco as they came in the Family and Friends 8 pack. But of course, and this happens a lot, they included Honey as an exclusive character. So if you want Honey, you have to buy this specific set. And trust me, they include a lot of exclusives in a lot of sets, so if you're a true collector and you want to get all the figurines, they're going to have to buy every single set. I'm not sure what happened or what's the reason, but I just realized that unlike the family pack we just opened, this one doesn't have tape on the top, it's just bent, so I'm not really sure what happened, but I'm not complaining, I got less tape to open. This one also has a relatively similar setup. Interestingly, this time there's no rubber bands to hold them back. I'm not sure why that's different. I guess maybe they thought the family members would get stolen more. I have no clue. This one has actually a pretty nice background. I believe this is the healer's front yard. You can see the staircase that goes to their house. Ah! Oh, well, there's Coco. Ah. Oh, there we go. And we'll get out like that. And here's the new one, or at least for me, Honey. Alright, so there's birds chirping in the background now. I hope when the neighbors are done eating their dog, they'll cook the birds too. But anyways, right off the bat, we have the Bluey figurine. Coming in second, we have Snickers. As you can see, I usually just have him lying around because considering how tall he is and with his stubby feet, it's really hard to stand him. Let's see if we could do it right now. Oh, he's falling over. It's very difficult. Oh, and we got him standing, but as you can see, it's not that easy. And usually I would probably use like sticky tech if I really wanted him to stand up. This one is very well done. They got the colors about right. They even got the Australian continent on his cap, which is a nice detail, and they got the green lining. So overall, this one is pretty good and once again represents the character well. Up next, we have Coco. And overall, I have to say I like this one. They got all for like bundles of fur and stuff. They even got like the little flower in her head, which is nice detail. Overall, Coco isn't like my favorite character, but I have to say this figurine is pretty nice. Even though it is a little hard to sit down because of all the fur around her ankles. So she has a tendency to fall over like that. And lastly, we have one of the more interesting ones, which is Honey. Now this is going to be extra interesting because I've never had this figurine before, or at least a loose one. Overall. Very nice. The coloring is about correct. They even got the different colors on her tail. And they also got her design correct. And interestingly, you can also remove the glasses if you take them off just like that. And now we have a very interesting and possibly possessed bluey figurine. Does she have human ears on the side of her head? I'm not sure what these are, but they're on both sides, and they kind of look like human ears. That always confused me ever since I first got this, but maybe if you have an explanation for that, let me know. Because unless I get a rational explanation, I'm just going to assume it's human ears, and it's going to feel my human-animal hybrid theory I'm coming up with. And with all that, those are basically all of the main characters from all the packs. So we're just going to move these out of the way and open those playsets in the back. Right here, we now have some of the two packs. And as you can see, we have some from the second bundle, which of course this one is photo fun. And we have Dr. Checkup. Now I was originally going to open some from the first bundle with like grannies and pull time and stuff. But by the time I got these figurines, those ones from the first bundle were becoming very hard to find and they were selling out really fast. I do have a few of them, but unfortunately I don't really have any duplicates I want to open. And on top of that, online they're becoming super expensive. So 
if you didn't get a chance to buy those figurines, you might be out of luck unless they have, like, extra stock or they remake them again. But with all that said, we're now gonna take a look at these actual packs, and I think we'll start off with the Doctor Checkup set. So, looking at the actual set, it's your standard character set based off the Doctor episode. It has Bluey with a funny face, a hat, and Indy. This is the only time Indy appears, so that's kind of cool. And as you can see on the back, for some reason, the cross on Bluey's hat is blocked off by a sticker. I'm not sure why they did that, but if you have any idea, let me know in the comments below. Alright, so looking at the actual set, we'll start with the bluey figurine, and I have to admit, this one is actually quite interesting as you can tell there's a small variation in which she has her mouth open, and they even added some extra coloring to make it look like she has teeth and her tongue sticking out I believe. So overall it's a nice detail, and surprisingly they actually made it look pretty nice. It doesn't look super off or creepy as I would have expected. Other than that, it's mostly your standard bluey figurine, but the small detail is quite nice. Up next, we have the other character in this small set, which is Indy. This is the first time she's ever appeared as a figurine, so in order to get her, you'd have to get this set. Overall, not too bad. They have her vest, they have her big set of hair, and they do have all the little trinkets and stuff colored in, so it's overall pretty nice. And of course, before we move on, we'll check out the little hat that comes with the set. Most of these small sets always come with cool accessories, which I think is a nice touch and definitely makes them more interesting. The hat just goes on like that, and surprisingly, it doesn't fit too badly, even with the big ears. It comes off easily, but it also kind of stays on, so it doesn't like constantly slide off. So yeah, not too much, but it is a nice little addition. Of course, I didn't forget about the Photo Fun set, which is based off of the Bob Bilby episode. Not one of my favorite episodes, but to be honest, this does look like a very interesting playset. Kind of interesting that they called it Photo Fun instead of like Bob Bilby or something, but I suppose outside of that episode, this name makes a lot more sense. So even if you haven't seen the episode, you can still figure out the playset. Also, when I was about to open it, I just realized that they also blocked out the cross on Bluey's hat in this set as well, even though it's not the actual featured set. So that's interesting. Alright, so at first glance, this set really doesn't look like anything special because, let's be honest, Bluey and Bingo figurines are like a dime a dozen. But when you look closely, there's actually a little bit of variation. We have this kind of goofy version of Bluey. She has her tongue completely out, and she's even got like a raised eyebrow. And of course, we can't forget about the accessories. Here we have... Bob Bilby, since that's the episode this playset is based off of. And overall, it actually has a pretty nice fit. Just goes around the hand like that. And we have Bandit's old camera. It's got a little bit of detail and coloring. And it also has this big strap so it can actually fit around the characters. Wonder how well this is gonna fit. Well, overall, it's actually a pretty good fit. It's not too loose, not too tight. So I'm trying to figure out if it's actually possible to 
have Bingo wear the camera and actually keep it standing up. But uh, I was about to say that it kept falling, but of course, right when I was about to say that, it actually worked. So I guess it is possible. And with that, that's my little review on the Dr. Checkup and the Photo Fun 2 packs. And honestly, regarding the 2 packs in general, I will admit that if you're not a fan of getting duplicates, I wouldn't recommend them because almost all of them, except for like Cousins and maybe a couple other exceptions in the future, have bluey figurines. So if you get every single one of these sets, you're going to end up with a ton of extra blueies. However, I will give the toy designers credit for actually adding new faces on some of the newer ones. So even though you'll end up with a ton of blueies, at least they'll all be making different faces, which is always a nice addition. And also, they are kind of pricey. I'm not sure how much they cost where you live, but where I'm from, they're about 8 bucks each. Not too bad, but that's about like $4 a figurine. And considering their size, I would say that's a little bit pricey. But if there's like a playset based off an episode you really like, or you just find a couple, because I know they're really hard to get, I would definitely recommend buying a couple if you're a fan of the show. Moving right along, we're not quite done with the video yet, as we also got some other playsets to review as well. Alright, so let's just say that you're not just a casual Bluey fan, and you don't just want to collect the figurines. Well, you're going to be in luck, because as you can see in front of me, Moose Toys has also made some larger playsets. These ones actually have not only accessories and characters, but they also have some furniture as well. So we're going to take a quick look at that. So the first of these larger playsets we're going to look at is the Backyard Barbecue set. I believe that's what it's called. I already opened this one. Funny enough, I actually opened it for a video where I was just going to cover everything in my Bluey collection, but I never really got around to finishing that video. I'll probably make an update to it in the future. But anyways, here is Bandit. As you can see, he's your relatively standard Bandit figurine, similar to the many other ones I have. And as you can see, he's also got a cool little spatula. It's a bit loose, but it does fit in his hand. And he also has a big chef's hat, which can actually cover his face if you press hard enough. I'm not sure if that's intentional or not. And one thing I love about this set is that you actually get some pretty nice furniture. We have a couple of benches. We even have a big table. And we even have some delicious food. We got a tray of sausages. We got a salad with some like eggs in it. It's pretty cool that it's colored. It's even got like detailing. And we even have, of course, the barbecue itself. I got some sausages in here. I think they're probably done now. And overall, this one is pretty nice. It's got a couple different colors and the thing opens and shuts. So if you really want to, you can stick the kid's face inside there and shut it like that. At least, I think that's how it's supposed to work. And sh- and sh- and sh- So yeah, with all the different accessories and all the different furniture, I would have to say that this is probably my favorite of the playsets. And I swear it's not because Bandit is the featured character. I promise. So yeah. It's a great addition to your Bluey collection. I'm not sure if they sell it anymore. Where I live, they basically sold out, which is unfortunate. But I think there are still some areas where you can find it. And they still do sell it online, so pick it up while you can. Moving right along, we have a playset which I don't really think is as great, but it's still a pretty interesting one regardless. And that is Bluey and Bingo Scooter Fun. Alright, so looking at the playset, I'm not really sure if this is the same as like the other older playsets with the big box, but I believe they're part of the same line, just a small packaging change. Compared to the other ones which are just inside a giant box, this one's actually open. You can actually fill the scooters and stuff. And admittedly, they have this cool background. 
even this tree actually sticks out so it really pops out and i believe this is based off the episode piggyback which admittedly in my opinion was quite a boring episode but this does look like quite an interesting playset so we'll try and get it open there it is again with the cross being blocked out for some reason Let's just take a moment to appreciate this background. I really like it. So at first glance, the set doesn't feel as big as the barbecue set, but I will admit you do get a few interesting things. Overall, the figurines are your standard bluey and bingo figurines, but they do have this thing where the ears are down, which is an interesting detail. And of course, this is so the helmets can actually fit on. Of course, we always need to ride with our helmets and of course we could place them on the scooter they have this little bump on it so their feet go in just make the arms go up like that so it looks like they're holding the handlebars and then you could just drive the scooter off Whee! all right so as you can see i got them all geared up and on their scooters and if there's one thing i have to admit that's kind of weird about this playset is that the scooters don't really roll that well. They do have metal axles, which makes them roll a bit smoothly, but if you actually try and push them, they don't really go too far. They stop after a short while. And I think it's because of the way the wheels and the axles are made. For some reason, they place this like plastic part around the axle. And I think that kind of has friction with the scooter and that causes it to slow down. I'm not sure if that's there for safety reasons, but I think it would have been better if they just had a metal axle going through. As you can see, this one is just a metal axle and it spins decently. So I'm not sure why they did that, but overall, it doesn't roll too horribly. If I'm being honest, I was actually expecting it to be way worse. But no matter how well their scooters roll, there's one thing you shouldn't forget. And that virgin bluey and bingo will never hold a torch to Chad Rusty and his motorbike. But somehow, let's just say you're a really crazy bluey fan. And all those playsets just weren't enough. You need to get something even bigger. Well, even then, you're still in luck. And with that said, here is the last thing we'll be opening. And it is the actually relatively large pull time playset. So when it came to getting this playset, I've been kind of confused because this is a relatively older playset based off a season one episode. And for the longest time, it was pretty hard to find since most people just outright bought it and it sold out really fast. However, as of recently, I've been noticing that a lot of local stores have been getting them in again. So I'm not really sure if they're getting more in or if they're just finding more inventory. But I am glad I do have an extra one that we're going to be opening right now. This one is actually pretty easy to open. Or at least it looks easy to open. I'm not sure how it's going to be on the inside. Actually comes in two compartments. What's this other one? Oh, three compartments. Since it's a bigger playset, you actually get quite a few structures. We have the pool in a plastic bag. We have some kind of hut. 
we have a few accessories, and we even get a bluey figurine wearing a swimsuit. So we're just gonna try and get this thing open. I think we're almost there. I'm not sure how we're gonna open this. I guess. Oh, here's the opening. I guess we'll just try and rip that open. Here are the instructions if anyone's interested in looking at it. Looking at the floor of the cabana, as you can tell, it's kind of bent in right here. I'm not sure why it's like that or if it's intentional, but I guess we're just gonna have to build it and see. Is it just me? Or is the fact that it doesn't make a clicking or snapping sound kind of unsatisfying? It just kind of goes in like that. And there's the last one. Oops, wrong side. <laughs> there we go. And they just kind of come in there like that. <sighs> See what happens when we push it in. Mm. There's the clicking, I guess. So, after assembling all these structures, I will admit that it looks kind of dry. No pun intended. I'm not talking about the fact that it doesn't have any water right now, but there really isn't that much detail. The only main detailing is like the diving board and the tiles. But other than that, it's pretty basic. You got like this table, which is just one mold of plastic. However, this isn't the main attraction really, except for the pool itself. So we're gonna get a few accessories and really make it stand out. You get some kind of donut. You also get a cool unicorn version. That's a neat little touch. You get a squirt gun. There we go. And you also get as well. Come on, get out! Why did they make these things so freaking tight? How is anyone supposed to get these out? Ah, jeez, that was a workout. All right, so just look at this. I had to wrangle the freaking thing this much just to get it out. Like, just look at it. I had to bend it to oblivion just to get that one figurine out. Out of this entire playset, we only get one bluey figurine, but admittedly, it's quite a nice one, as it's her but in a swimsuit for the pool, because god forbid we see bluey naked in the pool. Interestingly, this isn't the only time we see her in a swimsuit, as in this two-pack, they actually made a pool-themed one as well, and as you can see, she's actually wearing a different colored swimsuit, I'm not sure which one is accurate to the show, but either way, it is a nice variation regardless. And at this point, you might be wondering how this playset works because this is just a plastic figurine set about a pool, but the pool doesn't really have anything in it. And actually, if we look at the back of the package, it says, fill the pool with water. So that seems to imply we can actually put actual water in the pool, so I'm gonna go do that real quick and we'll go see what happens. Alright, so I just went down to the kitchen and I got myself some delicious water. Personally, water is my favorite beverage because it's just clean, it's not really bubbly, and it doesn't taste weird, and it's just my absolute favorite drink, and I definitely recommend you should all try it. Oh yeah, we have a pool to fill. Alright, uh, so, you know what, screw it, let's just get this thermos. I'm just gonna take the lid off, and let's just pray that nothing goes wrong. There goes the water. Oh, perfect amount. Now that the pool is full, I'm wondering if the stuff actually floats in it. I hope it does. Oh. That one floats, and let's see if Bluey can float in the donut. Oh, uh-oh. I think we ran into a problem. Let's see if we can get Bluey balanced. 
Come on. Well, shoot, I guess Bluey's gonna drown. So I'm looking at the drawing on the back, or I guess the render, and I just realized it doesn't show any of the characters in the donut. Hmm. So it's far from perfect, but I think if you make Bluey lean back somehow, we might be able to get this to work, and the water's really cold because it was supposed to be for drinking. Come on, Bluey, please work. I didn't pay 20 bucks just to see you drown, though that would be pretty entertaining. Uh... Alright, well, I got it to float like halfway, so I'm only half disappointed. Alright, well, I guess we'll take a look at the diving board. Whee! <laughs> By the way, I was not intending to cause such a mess, but whatever. And with all that said, that is my review on the Bluey Drowns in a Kiddie Pool playset. Overall, you do get a few nice accessories, and you do get this interesting structure. But in all honesty, there's only so much you could do with it. Most of it's just hard plastic, and the pool is very small. And the floaties don't honestly work that well, which honestly doesn't surprise me too much. But it would have been nice if they actually worked well. I would probably tell most people to just skip this playset. It does cost $20, at least about $20. And that's not a terrible deal, but honestly, I would recommend just getting another playset or something better. But speaking of a bigger playset that's better, we have one more thing I want to check out. Looking at the actual car, I will admit that it's actually probably one of the best of the playsets. It costs about $20 as I mentioned, and honestly, I would say it's a decent value. It does have a sticker on the back and the front for the license plates. It's got some decals for the headlights and stuff. And admittedly, it does do a good job at portraying the actual vehicle in the show. You got a steering wheel, which is kind of stiff, but that's not really important. You also get car seats, which actually have holes so the tails can stick through. And you even got the little booster chairs in the back for Bluey and Bingo. And while I don't have it on me right now, when you get this playset, you also get an instruction manual with some stickers, and you can make the car all messy like in the actual show, which I think is a really nice touch. All right, so while we're at it, let's see if we can actually get them in there and see how it feels. Overall, they are a bit loose in there, and they have a tendency to fall out, so Make sure the road's not too bumpy, but admittedly, they don't fit in there too badly. Yeah, sometimes the tail has difficulty fitting in, but once you get it in there, it isn't that much of a hassle. And then the roof also kind of comes off so you can fit them in there. And overall, they do look especially nice in the car. However, with all the praise I have for this, there's one question I have. Why is the car orange? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's red in the actual show. And even the prototype of this toy shows it being red. So why they made it orange? I have no idea. Maybe it was cheaper or it was a mistake. I have no clue. But maybe if you have a reason or explanation, you can let me know. And so, with all of that, you're probably wondering if I actually like the Bluey figurines and playsets. And to be honest, despite the evil against all that's good cynic y'all think I am, I'll admit, I actually like the figurines as they do a good job representing the characters, and there's enough variety to make them interesting to collect. However, that's not to say they're perfect. The toys can be a little pricey, and the paint on them can be a little rough for what you get. And regarding the playsets, I definitely recommend getting things like the Gila car and stuff such as the barbecue set, but I would personally skip some stuff such as the pool set. And even though I bashed it in a previous video, if you have the dough, don't mind purchasing the Bluey house, as it's not completely terrible, but I do feel that it does lack in a few areas. But if you don't mind that, then go ahead. And if you can find the bundle with the barbecue set and the family pack, that's even better. 
However, when it's all said and done, it really comes down to what you and your kids prefer, if you have kids. Admittedly, there's a bluey set for everyone. But with all that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you like this review, let me know. I'm certainly keen on making more in the future. I got a lot of interesting stuff coming in. And also be reviewing some episodes as well. So look out for that. But with all that said, I'll be signing out. And have a great day everyone.